growing covert and causing the loss of countless lives. unless we can locate the uh, source of this disturbance, we face the destruction of the world. Hey, you, Colton, all disturbances caused by the variations in the orbit of the moon. And I repeat, Reynolds, not the moon, but the sun. Sun spots are all the atmosphere. New spots on the sun could remain undetected, but something must be causing these flood tides and earth shocks. My mind, it's just a promotion scheme. I tell you, gentlemen, my instrument will not fail. I'm getting it. An impractical thing. Look, Captain, the detector failed to function. And gentlemen, oh, gentlemen, I am positive that the feet of this trouble is along the 28th meridian, 10 degrees south of the equator, right here in the heart of Africa. Jerry, let me see your nose. Hey, I will. Oh, gentlemen, I'll stake my life on it. The center of this disturbance is here. But that is an unexplored territory. Granted. But that is where it is. That's absurd. To find nothing but jungle, rough country. I believe in you and your discovery. But what is the next step? To go there, find the source of this disturbance, and stop it. Go ahead, Bruce. Count on me for everything you need. You will lack up the resources of the entire nation that are at your disposal. Thank you, Commodore. Thank you, General. I shall prepare an expedition at once. If you succeed, you and all your associates will deserve the gratitude of the world. First, allow me to become a member of your expedition. I have believed in you from the back. Thank you, Professor Randall. And I, too, Gordon. And Dr. Cook. Now, where's your knitting? 
Natives, all gone. <laughs> we were attacked by giants. Oh. Giants. Why, you were delirious, Chet. Let me get you another slug. I'm not delirious. But they were like nothing human. They were too big. Too awful. Now, take it easy, Chet. Take it easy. Where did these giants, as you call them, take your natives? Into the jungle. Towards Magnetic Mountain. We're saying things. Forget it, my boy. Forget it. Forget it. Welcome, gentlemen. My name is Butterfield. This is my post. Bruce Gordon. How do you do, sir? Colton. Reynolds. Pleasure, sir. Jerry Delaney. How are you, yes. Mr. Delaney? Will you come in and have a little drink? Thanks. Mr. Andrews, how are you? Gentlemen, make yourself at home. What brings you here to the heart of Africa? Uh, you may not have heard of the disasters that are wrecking the outside world. Hmm. What is it, another war? You may call it that. The enemy so far has been invisible, and that's what we're here for. Why to this part of the country? This is near the spot indicated by my magnetic detector. You must be speaking. About that cursed magnetic mountain. What is this magnetic mountain? A mountain where the blacks... Why, are. there's a mountain near here full of iron. It's sort of a natural lightning rod. Lightning rod? There are, there are horrors there you never dreamed of. Giants! Black giants. The biggest, most terrible creatures you ever saw. Oh, don't mind him. He was a victim of ordinary raiders. Raiders nothing. I tell you, they were giants. And they headed for the mountain. That night, I saw it flare up like a thousand searchlights. I've got it. Jerry, go set up the detector. This mound may be the center of this disturbance. Right. Come on, Reynolds. OK. Andrews, you talk too much. already discharged enough electrical energy into the atmosphere to destroy a hundred cities. I'll have this cosmic condenser hold enough power to destroy the world. If I desire it, when I invented these instruments, I did it for the benefit of mankind. Yes! I brought you here to create the things I want. Defy me. And you know the consequences. Rosso, take Manus to his laboratory. Yes, Master. <laughs> A 
Half alone. Stand by the enlarging machine. Yes, sir. something to keep him from creating more living dead men. My dear, unless I obey his slightest wish, he may injure you. Uh, we had better go on. Zolok is watching. for humanity. Put him in the brain destroyer. Yes, master. Come, we'll go. You go. Go to your post. <gasps> you can't think except as I think. You must obey my command. You are my slave. Have man just brought here? Yes, master. Dr. Munoz? The enlarging machine is ready. Oh, father. Father, must you obey? Nadia, my dear, we are in his power. Just be patient. Come, doctor. Proceed.
Your name is Fear. <clears throat> Garzo, the emblem of the lost city. Yes, Master. Do as Garzo tells you. Take him to his quarters. Yes, Master. Come. Avalon, bring another subject. Yes, Master. I don't see how you can be so heartless. Miss Dolak is my master. Why is he your master? He promised to make a man of me like other men. Big, strong. Yes. Make you a living dead man like those poor slaves. No, no. You'll see. Interference somewhere in this neighborhood. Turn on the amplifier. Yes, Master. Magnetic Mountain, all right. Just the place we're looking for. What about you now, Bruce? We'll start at once. Those strangers have located my lost city. They must be stopped. Get up along, quick. Yes, Master. No, don't talk to me of marriage again. The master calling up along to the control room at once. You'll change your mind. Father, Father, Apollon's been talking about marriage again. Daughter, dear, I just had some big news. White men are coming this way. White men? Yes, yes. From outside? Yes. They're coming here? Yes, sir. Oh, if I could only warn them of their peril. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no Father. Yes, yes. They'll help us escape. Unless they also become Zola's victims. Butterfield must have thought. Butterfield? Ah, oh, he wouldn't dare talk. He wouldn't dare mention our presence here. You know why. What are your plans, Master? 
Trap them in the heart of the mysterious voice. Get everything ready. Yes, ma'am. Take a squad of joints and deploy them around the hut. And capture those white men? Yes, if they escape the trap. Yes, master. Come to the control room. I'm not going. But you must. You better go, my dear. Up, you fellas. We're on our way and getting close. Yeah, and getting hot. Bruce, I don't like the look of things. Andrews may have been right about the giant. Too many of our blacks have deserted already. Just the same, we're going on. Girl's voice. Come on, Jerry, let's find out. Help! Please help! Help! Please help! Hurry! That must be the place. Come on, let's go. I'll tell you what we'll do. So this is that. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no. Are you gone? By the arms! What's the meaning of this? Oh. What are you going to do with us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you to the lost city, to my master. Hogo, come, Hogo, Ayuga. <laughs> Sure, that voice came from here. 